Hi, this is Charlie Montatiel with Blue Bear Flutes. Of course, you know us from BlueBearFlutes.com. Of course, uh, Blue Bear Arts and Blue Bear Flutes all over the place. I think uh, everything, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, here on YouTube, everywhere, uh, you'll, you'll find us under Blue Bear Flutes. Today, I'm talking about scales again. We've got one more video that I can think of anyway out of these scale videos we need to follow through on after this one. Um, this one is kind of a complicated question here. Um, there are a few types of Native American flutes like the kenna and the cornacho, and there's one smaller version of the kenna that I can think of that uh, is also in a major scale. And then there's also the pan flutes, all of these Central American flutes that are in major scales. However, I believe originally they were probably in the minor key as these flutes are today. Uh, with regards to the Native American flute, uh, North American Indian, I mean, there's so many different things. The one with the fipple, gosh, I said it twice now in a video. Anyway, the one with the little block on top. Um, these Native American flutes are typically in the uh, minor pentatonic scale of some sort. This one here is an F sharp, but that doesn't mean that your flute's an F sharp. However, these videos can certainly help you learn to play your flute and your scale. And uh, if you have a scale, say an A, for example, uh, that's a real common Native American flute these days, or Native American flutes in the key of mid to high A. Um, the low A scale is the same scale, however, it's an octave lower. In the case of this F sharp flute, it's somewhere between low A and medium A um, in the Native American flute scale range. Uh, having said that, the scales we're talking about today are something that you might find useful if you're trying to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, or any kind of pop music today that you're thinking, hey, I could never play that on the Native American flute. Yes, you can. Uh, so this flute, though it is in the minor scale, just like a transverse flute that people play in the orchestra, you can still play this in the major key in its major scale. Let me explain to you what major scale it's gonna be in. For example, and you can find this all over the place, but on, even on my website on the info page, there's a list of the scales down close to the bottom. And in that list, if you notice the first note of the scale, like say for example, the D scale um, has the second note. It's the second note of each of these minor pentatonic scales you wanna look for. The second note is F. Uh, so a D minor pentatonic flute actually can play the F major scale. Your A minor pentatonic flute, A Native American flute um, can actually play the C major scale. This is an F sharp, which means it'll actually play the A major scale. And I'm gonna show you how to play that. To play the scales the same, once again, on each of your Native American flutes, if you're playing A, C, D, E, or G, or whatever you're playing, there is a corresponding major scale uh, to your flute. Once again, I could name them all here, the C Native American flute is D sharp or E flat um, major. The uh, D minor Native American flute is F. The uh, E flute is a G major. The F sharp, which is common, is an A major. The G is a B flat major scale. So in other words, if you have a G Native American flute, you can play the B flat uh, major scale, A sharp, B flat major scale. Uh, if you have an A, as I mentioned, you can play a C major scale. And if you have a B Native American flute, you can play the D major scale. Uh, once again, it's not made to be played like that, but you can play it like that. And this is where it's just very, very simple to do this. I'm gonna show you kind of slowly and drawn out how to play the major scale on your Native American flute if you have in any particular minor pentatonic key, you can play the major version of it. It's very simple. First, you start with the bottom note uncovered. That is the root of your major tonic or major scale of your flute. Then you uncover the next hole. Then you um, cover the second from the bottom here, and you, you leave this one and that one uncovered. Then you uncover all three, the four bottom holes, and if you have, uh, once again, a six hole modern, as I call it, Native American flute with this hole, uh, with a piece of leather or something tied over it, leave it there, or leave your finger on it. 
That's just fine too. Just pretend that hole doesn't exist. If you're playing a five hole flute, you're in good shape, no problem. Four hole flute, we'll be talking about these videos uh, down the road. Some will be making videos on these particular scales. Uh, however, with this flute, the next note is, like I said, all four of the bottom holes uncovered. Then you uncover this one. Then you have to kind of do a little something different here. You cover the bottom four holes and you slightly uncover the bottom hole. So that's, you, you excuse me, I think I may have said that wrong. Haha, <laughs> so glad somebody caught me. You cover the bottom four holes, leave this top one uncovered, cover the bottom four, and slightly uncover the bottom hole. That's the next note in the major scale. And then you uncover that, and that should be your uh, root, the octave of the root of the major scale. Now you wanna hear it, watch figures slowly. It is not, you know, just everyday run of the mill Native American flute sounding, so you have to forgive me here, but I'm gonna play the major scale on this F sharp flute, which once again is a key of A major that you can play on an F sharp minor Native American flute. All that talking just to show you how to play a scale right. So very simple. And if you'll notice, you probably have to blow a little faster to um, achieve the sharpness that that top octave note really needs to be because it tends to want to play a little flat. Um, that's how things usually go as you go up the scale on a uh, particularly keyed flute like this one. It's keyed in the key of F sharp. Usually the higher notes get a little bit um, like flatter as you go up. So anyway, we talk about that with the six hole flute video. If y'all haven't seen that yet, it's definitely good to watch. So. Uh, I'm going to start really slow. You see my finger is partially covering that. I know that it's kind of hard to guess, but I'm uncovering this top hole, covering all of them, and only partially covering this bottom hole. And then uncover it. Quickly again. And once again, this is a scale, uh, though this be an F sharp flute and it's playing the A major scale, this is a way that you can play the tonic major of your flute, the major scale that your flute can accomplish on your Native American flute. There's so many words there, and I'm sorry to be so talkative. I know some of you enjoy hearing me talk. So two or three of you probably fell asleep already, and some of you have told me how much you really wish I would just get on with it. But in the case of explaining something, it's always best to use words. <laughs> and in the case of playing the major scale on a minor pentatonic instrument, it takes a little bit of, hey, this is what you do, this is what you do. So very simple, like I said, I think it's something that you will benefit from if you're wanting to play old standards, like I say, or if you want to play just pop culture music that's in uh, major keys. It's helpful to know how to accomplish those major scales. In which way, this is Charlie Monto Toyella signing out for Blue Bear Flutes and of course, bluebearflutes.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure that you let us know. We appreciate that and we will be looking for you again very soon. Happy flute playing and happy flute making. Y'all take care.